Um, I want to, uh, you know, ask you, William, to speak a little bit about uh, a childhood story that inspires who you are today. This is a question I ask all my guests uh, okay. here in the African Father in America podcast because, uh, you know, we didn't just show up here, but uh, there are things that happened in our childhood that really inspire who we are today. And if you listen to previous episodes of the podcast, uh, this is episode 319, so there are a lot of episodes that you can listen oh, yeah. to. And a lot of them I talk about, in many of them I talk about my own story of when I was eight years old and how uh, around that time my mother gave me a bicycle to distribute milk and bread in our community back in Kenya. And how that was really the beginning of my understanding of what impact I could have in our community. And so uh, I want to, you know, invite you to also speak about something that really drives who you are today that, uh, you know, came about when you are right. still uh, young. <laughs> yes, well, I'm definitely young at heart. Uh, my wife can tell you that it's like just, you know, being engaged and active in the community. And it, and it leads back to and interesting enough when you talked about your, your mother, um, the same with me. My mom was a, a high school teacher and she taught business. And um, when she was teaching, and I call it back in the day during the, the 70s and 80s, she was teaching what was called shorthand. And basically she taught in the business department and shorthand back during that time was one of the ways that uh, young people can get into careers right after high school. So shorthand in of, in of itself was a way of writing code and shorthand allow you to write um, dictation uh, as someone was doing a presentation or used in a courtroom or an illegal environment. So during that process, those would take shorthand and then they would go back and type the information um, on legal documents. But interesting enough, I watched my mom um, go from the transition of starting teaching shorthand to using uh, manual computers to, elect, uh, excuse me, manual typewriters to electric typewriters and eventually to computers. And what stands out in my mind was during that process, um, she was teaching myself and my brother and my sister, this is the evolution of the world technology. This is how the world is gonna change. And it's really important that um, we understand that process. And uh, she would put myself and my brother and my sister to work by setting up her classroom over the summer as there were transitions going on from just shorthand to manual typewriters to electric typewriters to computers. And being children at that time, we did not realize that she was preparing us for the world to come, the world of technology. But she saw it right then and right there as, okay, well, we're not doing things with pencil and paper anymore. We're moving to manually using typewriters. Then we're making that transition from manually typewriters to electric typewriters. So here you have these components of different types of technology and then eventually moving the computers, the IBM computers in the classroom. So as she was learning, she was teaching us as well. And she also had the expectation that we, as we learned, would teach her as well. And interesting enough, now being a, a, a STEAM teacher in public education, higher education, you know, you look back on the things that your parents try to teach you and you see that they are constantly preparing you for the future. And, you know, as kids, you know, sometimes you don't listen, but then you think, well, they do have more experience. They've been in this world longer than we have as parents. So it's, it's incumbent upon ourselves to really listen and pay attention. So, you know, I, I praise God for her and her wisdom and, you know, her knowledge that she was teaching us and preparing us for now because she set that wonderful foundation.